With so many professions around the world, there are so many things to do. So I introduce you to jobs around the world. Many people around the world always have the same occupations, but now we are looking into different occupations. So today we introduce you to a small town called Houston, Texas. In the middle of a small busy town like this, you can find a mall. Big mall to be exact. And in this mall is a store. Shoe store. And today we meet a special kind of doctor. A plastic surgeon shoe box doctor named Rebecca Luna. Um, hi, my name is Luna and I'm a shoe box plastic surgeon. We have a nursery here at our uh, shoe orphanage and we have a bunch of shoes here waiting to be taken home. Um, when they get adopted, uh, I put them under surgery so that way they look their best for whoever's adopting them. Um, I've only been working here for a few months, but I would say I'm pretty good at the job. You know, sometimes these orphans come in and they just been through so much before they came here. So I really take my time and I put my love and care into each and one of these boxes that I fix. Usually we either go and pick them or I just go back there and I go and uh, fix them myself. Because, you know, every shoe box deserves to be pretty. I don't know what they go through before they come here. I don't like to make my patients uncomfortable and ask about it. But, you know, I just make sure that they get the, the love and, and care they need. Yeah. Yeah, this is my workstation. I usually work right here. And this is where I get all of my patients up and going. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the process right now. I always make sure to give my patients really good medicated anesthesia and as well as sleeping gas because I do not want a chance for them to wake up in the middle of their procedure. It does get hard and it is a long procedure, but it's all worth it in the end. Yes, this job does get hard sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I wanna quit it because it gets really hard. Looking at these boxes, these poor boxes, what did they go through to deserve that? You know, they're innocent. They don't know anything. <laughs> but I'm still here because <sighs> I wanna give those boxes a second chance and they deserve that second chance.